Hey everybody! Hello! Welcome to another RV home vlog. Home vlog! So tonight um, we're going to show you what Kim got for her birthday. Mm-hmm. We're going to cook some chicken on the Blackstone and make some salad and just hang out. Uh-huh. It's such a cool setup that we yeah. have in this new spot that we have in our backyard. And should I did maybe tell them what we got already for my birthday? Well, we said what you wanted and we were going to, hopefully it was going to come. So I got a projector. Projects on the back of the RV. We could watch movies. TV shows, hang out outside. I can't wait to watch football on it. <laughs> I know that's gonna but be really cool. We're gonna show you our setup. Yeah. We are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. RVTV, K and E RVTV, sing it with us. Thank you guys for joining us for our home vlog today. Say hi to Lucy. She's looking pretty. It just rained. But another thing they did here at our RV park was they just made all the spots bigger. See this new little section of concrete here? They did this at all of the spots because when they did it the first time, they did not make them wide enough. So they had to go back and do it. It actually happened on my birthday last week, which was so fun. But made our spot even bigger, so we're happy about it. And a lot of other people are too. Right? Our spot is huge. Look at this thing. Look, I am all set up with my fire. Just gotta light it. And we're gonna hang out outside and enjoy the evening. Yeah, luckily it's not super hot right now. No. It's kinda hot today. But and now it rained, of course. And it rained. Which created the humidity. Uh -huh. Aaron's well, soggy, our carpets are soggy. <laughs> yeah, everything's a little wet. Yeah. But Aaron's got the black stone set up. Yeah. She's gonna cook us some chicken. Yeah, just gonna grow some chicken and throw together a salad. You know, mm. with a lot of fun toppings. And just chill. And enjoy. Did you show on the screen? Nope. Enjoy this mountain view. And then we have the projector screen on the back. All the magic happens at nighttime. Came with this sheet, the screen in the front. It was a little too thin. You could see the window and everything. Let me put a sheet behind it. And it works perfect. I know you can see the window right now, but at nighttime when it gets dark, yeah. you yeah, can't it's, see it. Yeah, it's awesome. And it's also too, you can see the coachman riding that was right here. Uh huh. The decal was coming through too. So. But with the sheet I behind like it. I thought you could almost dealt with the window, but then that was it was just distracting. Yeah. So, yeah. No, now it's perfect. Yeah. I can't wait. We'll show you our setup later when it gets dark. Oh. It's happening. Time for fire. Kim's the fire starter, the twisted fire starter. No, the toilet paper rolls are the fire starter. <laughs> we always save them and paper towel rolls. Yep. Recycle, reduce, reuse, recycle. R E C Y C L E recycle. Okay, that's got a slow start going here. Well, they got a light. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't like burst into flames. Yes, I didn't, put, I didn't put gasoline on I it. I am not complaining. I'm just telling the people the slow start going on. Don't don't wait for fireworks just yet. So you always put your toilet paper rolls in the bottom. Oh yeah, and the flames go up. And you got your little venting grate in the bottom too. Yeah. But they're beautiful elevated fire pit. Yeah, we got this thing when we first started the RV. Really, not first because we were in Orlando, but. When we got to South Carolina, we got to enjoy our first, you know, real fire. winters and fires and cool weather. We got this bad boy for 65 bucks. And he served us very well. Mm -hmm. Travel around with us, yeah. put it inside when, once we travel, and take it back out whenever we get to destination. There's our screen with, you know, the view behind it ain't so bad. And there's enough room back here we could literally like pull the car around. If we move the picnic table we have a drive -in movie. and have a drive, we literally could do that. Like if it's, you know, too cold or something, want the heat in the car or something <laughs> and just sit out here and pretend we're at the drive-in. I did have a date night with my girlfriend for my birthday week last week. We set up our air mattresses, set up the projector, I had the fire going. It was very cute. We watched the movie. Very cute. Under the stars. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> Such an amazing girlfriend. Here we go. Looking good. Burn, baby, burn. It smells delicious. You should be cooking on the fire, Aaron. Delicious. Hi, Zachary. I didn't start cooking yet. The fire smells delicious. Okay. So I got my black stone preheated. I just sprayed down some avocado oil with my awesome 
oil sprayer. Thanks again, Sharon. I love it. So I have my chicken breasts. I just have them marinating in um, some Italian dressing. My Aldi's Tuscan Garden Italian dressing that I use to marinate everything. We're just going to grill those up. And then we're going to chop up some lettuce and tomatoes and onions, all the goodies. Make a salad. Salad with a view. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, I'm throwing down my chicken. Chicken on the back stone tastes yeah. so good. Everything on the back stone tastes good. Everything. <laughs> We're big fans of cooking outside. Yeah, and black stone also it's better for you know for me in the RV. I have you know I can some another way of cooking that I don't have to use amps or anything mm -hmm. inside so I really appreciate that and with this big surface I can cook a lot of things at one time mm -hmm. the other morning um, for Kim's birthday I made breakfast outside and it, it took me a quarter of the time it would take me to cook everything in the RV uh -huh. and you're on the black stone yep. so definitely easy I think I think four breasts is good enough right that's fine yeah I um, have some more marinating because I'm actually going to be going out of town <laughs> for a few days and going to Florida to see some family and stuff and Kim will be alone, so I have to have some food prep for her. How am I? Know. How am I gonna survive for five days all alone? <laughs> Y'all know that she doesn't look very well. I'm gonna be skinny by the time you come back. Right? There you go. <laughs> keep keto. We keep talking about it. If you've been following the channel, you know that we did keto when we first kind of started filming, and we fell we fell off that train last year. So we're gonna try to get back on it. So this will just be your little kickstart, you know, mm -hmm. to fend for yourself for a few days. <laughs> we'll see. So the point was that is you're gonna cook me extra chicken, right? Yes. <laughs> do you actually, do you want me to just cook it on now so you can reheat it, or can you handle throwing it in a pan for minutes? Cook it. You sure? I'm sure. All right, I flipped my chicken a couple times around, so now I'm gonna add. I like I said, I marinated it in some Italian dressing, and now we're gonna add some flavor God Italian zest just on top. A little more seasoning. We like flavor. We like flavor. Yeah, it's almost ready. So I'm gonna start chopping up um, my veggies soon. And yeah, we'll be ready to eat. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. So I flipped the chicken over and seasoned this side with my Italian Zest Flavor God seasoning. And it's just about done. I was inside just chopping up some veggies and we are hungry. Can you hear those bugs? They are no joke. They are loud. <laughs> but we're lucky it's not raining. And our view ain't that bad either. Okay, I was looking for sticks and I just found this bug on the tree. I was looking for sticks for the fire. What is this? Can anybody tell me what this is? It was freaked me out I don't know sorry it's I'm focused in pretty far because I'm trying not to get so close to it but what is this leave it in the comments all right here's all the things all like of the things so here's our chicken we're not eating all of it obviously so good. chicken um, I still have my iceberg head in the fridge because I want to keep that cold as possible. But we did a thinly sliced red onion. I'm having tomatoes. <clears throat> I found this fun salad topper thing with dried cranberries and honey roasted pecan. I thought that would be fun. Bacon bits, croutons, our bag of cheese we've been using for every video you've watched the last few vlogs. Aaron likes croutons. Yeah. I mean, saltines. Yeah, I like crushed up crackers, saltines. Oh, and I got, um, I made some ranch because we like. This was on sale, so I thought it sounded fun. Hold on, there's a glare. Simply dressed strawberry poppy seed. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe if you want to make sweet, mm. you can make a little salad like with Like a lime ranch and, and that. Salad, yeah, yeah we did that at the, um, the pottery house here. Then we do that, we oh, have like yeah. ranch with like a raspberry, raspberry vinaigrette. It tasted really good here. together. Yeah. And then I, like I said, I made ranch, and then I have Italian that I used to marinate the chicken in. So yeah, we're almost ready. Yay for salad. Woo! whole label's coming off by the way mm -hmm. so you could probably reuse this jar or something if you wanted to <gasps> i could put the ranch in here <gasps> once we finish all this <laughs> that didn't make sense but you know what i mean future future ranch because i'm always like i make ranch and i end up having a tub i'll show it to you right now it's in the freezer say hi can you say hi say hi to the people hi to the people 
Yeah, I mean, granted, these bowls. That great busy. And they take up too much room. No, well, we used to have that white squirty bottle. Where'd that yeah, go? Yeah, two of them, did, like, broke or melted or something. You don't take care of things. Right, I'm going to chop up my iceberg. I should have given it an ice bath so it would be nice and crispy. I did not do that. Failure. <laughs> but I'm just going to do a, like, rough course wedge chop because that's what we like. I'm just going to start by doing it in quarters. And then just kind of give this one a little rough chop and that's it. And I made half it on the counter. I want a big bowl. Yeah, this is just for the lettuce. Oh, okay. So you can build what you want. Okay. I need a big bowl for my salad. Yeah. To fit on my toppings. I don't <laughs> make a me I don't make a mess. And make or like I'm doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to stop filming, but <laughs> you called yourself out. All right, everything's prepped and ready to roll. Hey, you want to go check it out, babies? Let's go see what Mama's doing. Let's go see. She gorgeous. Watch out, Cody. She's a beauty. We must eat dinner out here. Talk about me or the fire? Oh, both, of course. Mm -hmm. But we must eat out here now. We have to enjoy this. Of course. It could be cooler. It's not too bad. We can put my fan out here, too, to kind of... It's 77. Yeah, I just wish there was a little breeze or something. Are we, what are we going to watch on the projector? I don't know. We must figure that out. House of Dragon. Oh my god, that's a good idea. We need to rewatch the second fans episode. out there watching the new The House of Dragon? That's what's called I think so. Aaron's setting up our projector. Dun, dun, dun. It's almost this dark. took a lot of um, trial and error to figure uh -huh. out the height and where we needed it, especially from like how big we want it. Yeah, how far back it would be. That we have accessible on the back of the RV. As you can see, we have the screen kind of wrapped around the side uh -huh. because the ladder is there. Yeah. So we figure also too, this is not a normal spot. We're probably never gonna have a spot like this again. Uh -huh. So we're hoping that we'll be able to do the same thing, just like on the other side, side maybe. Of the RV when we're somewhere else, you know. So mm -hmm. that'll be a whole another animal trying to. We'll probably have to make that pretty small because you usually don't have a ton of space between spots. But yeah, we're excited. There's just command hooks that are stuck on the RV that it yeah. hangs on. So. So now Aaron has to mess with it and adjust it to get it to the correct height. Our um, annual pass holder Minnie Mouse coasters that we use for everything. I use them to balance the Blackstone. I use them to balance the skillets and the RV because sometimes uh -huh. we're not level. And now we're using them for the projector. Literally using them for everything. It's pretty funny. But Never yeah. Never a coaster though. <laughs> Never a coaster. I don't think we've ever used them for a coaster. We made it outside. Here's my salad. It's pitch black out now so it's very hard to see <laughs> but... I've already started digging into it. It's it really, really delicious. Good. Let us know what y'all like in uh, your salads because we showed you what we were putting in. What do you like? Because we love your suggestions. So that'd be great. Mm hmm. Here's Aaron's. Whoa, hold on. Wow. We got big bowls. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a good salad in a long <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, I'm pretty dope. We got our fire going on. The babies are hanging out outside with us. And we're about to watch House of the Dragon. Boom, boom, boom. Let us know if you guys watch this show as well. It's the Game of Thrones. Was it a prequel? Yes. Because it's a prequel, right? Yeah, so we're excited. <gasps> Let me turn the light off. This is what the picture looks like. With our beautiful fire. Once we finish eating, we'll sit closer. Yeah, set up our chairs. And, and right and now like, we're at the picnic table. Yeah, so right now we're like behind the projector, but we'll sit closer next to it when we're done eating. Okay, we finished our salads in the dark. It was a little weird eating in the dark, but uh, fire's blaring. It's all the rest of my wood I just put on there. And we're setting up our camping chairs and we're gonna finish this episode. Our little setup is so cute. Wanna get some popcorn. My fire's still going as well. But yeah, I love this spot out here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Mm -hmm. We're really enjoying our new setup with the projector and the screen on the RV. It's super cool. 
like the backdrop is the stars right now which is pretty mm -hmm. amazing i've so, literally just been staring up at the stars yeah. like it's beautiful good Thanks. birthday present choice kim <laughs> you get to indulge in it too yeah we usually try to get each other things that we can both use oh, sorry. you know we try to make practi practical Gifts. gift choices for each other mm -hmm. yeah, yeah thanks for hanging out thanks for cooking me dinner that it, salad it was, was delicious. delicious you guys really didn't get to see it in the yeah. dark but it was so good yeah, so that, filling too that, that cranberry pecan mix was really good i know i would get it again for sure and it wasn't mm -hmm. that expensive it was like two two bucks and change yeah I like great that. little add to the salad mm -hmm. yeah let us know what you guys like to make in your salad yeah. give us some ideas too all right so if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Our next goal is 5,000, so it would be pretty cool if we mm -hmm. could We're hit almost that. there. Yeah. <laughs> Get us to 5,000. Share our videos. Yeah. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye, y'all. Have a good night. Woo!